Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life. Starting a tune from scratch, Mountain Dulcimer. This is part two, lesson two. In the first lesson, we talked about playing the melody on the melody string and then also playing the melody on the bass string. Uh, you can play it in its entirety both ways or you could jump back and forth. We talked about playing the chords on the melody string and inverting those chords. Or like this. Uh, all the way up the neck. So if you haven't done that lesson, I'd recommend you go back and do the first lesson. So we know we could play a tune on the melody, we could play it on the bass, we could jump back and forth. We can also play it up the fretboard. One of the things I want you to notice, you have your nut right here, and then you have two long frets. You have a short fret, two long frets, and three short frets. Now if if you don't have this half fret, you can actually have that installed by a luthier or somebody who works on instruments, a, a music store. A lot of times we'll just do that. Don't let them overprice it. Uh, $20, $30 is reasonable, uh, but you can have that installed. It, but what, here's what I want you to notice. And a lot of people put numbers on their frets. Now, if the frets were all uniform like these three, I could see people doing that. There's no reason to do that because you have shapes. You have two long, a short, two long, three short. What I want you to notice is your instrument duplicates itself over. Two long, a short, two long, three short. And then it starts again. Two long, they're not long, long, but they're longer. And then a short. And yours may vary up here and you may not have the half fret here but I want you to see that the instrument duplicates itself. If this is your octave, in other words, you have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. There's your octave. So if you had a capo on the seventh fret, you could play everything up here and it would still be in D, but at a higher octave. But what if you want to jump from here to here, up to here? You, you can't have that capo. So you're going to make your own capo with your finger. So you're going to put your pinky, your ring and your middle down on the seventh fret. So you have a D octave. Now you're going to make an, an A and the way you're going to do that is you're going to just drop your thumb and your pointer finger down on the two outside strings. What's important is this, this ring finger needs to stay down. Now it, it technically it doesn't but you want it down because that's going to keep that octave played just as if you had a capo there. So there's your A. Because the seventh fret would be just like the nut right here. So you want to like practice that. If you want to play a D, which would be two, Make sure that you're capoed at seven with your fingers and you're going to play a two. If you want to play a G, stay capoed with your fingers at seven. Slide your thumb up to what would be the third fret. It's not obviously not the third. It's the 10th fret, but we're referring to it as the third since it duplicates itself. So your thumb is up here. We'll say the third or the tenth. Your pointer finger is on the middle string at eight or would be one if that was capoed. And then you are on seven. So you could do this. Let's say you wanted to do this D. It's really not going to matter if it's capoed because you're covering all three of the strings. I still bar. You don't have to, but I would recommend it. Your G. Six and a half, four, four. So let's play all three places. Here we go. On to the 
bass. So what I would practice is getting your chords down from the seventh fret all the way up, make the full chords, practice going back and forth, maybe just start with the, the first three. And then jumping back and forth and playing that all together. Again, I do hope these lessons are a help and a blessing to you. We've got a long, long way to go to make these lessons uh, fancier to build on this song. We'll be showing you some flat picking and, and different techniques that you could use, different strum patterns, but to build this tune up. Uh, so when it comes up, you won't be groaning. You'll actually have a lot of fun with it. So again, I hope these lessons are a help and a blessing. We will see you next week. For another lesson, thank you patrons for your giving. God bless.